Starting off our list today at number 10, we have alopecia. Just after the 2022 Oscars, the internet couldn't stop talking about the hair loss condition Jada Pinkett Smith is suffering from. With her journey of alopecia being openly documented, TikTok and Reddit users have gone on to prove that the star is lying about her condition. With users debating over images Jada has shared of her bald scalp. When she was talking about her hair loss in a video shared on TikTok by Mariah Campbell, along with the caption, here is my celebrity conspiracy. The content creator can be heard saying I think she's completely lying about having alopecia because she's a cheater and wants people to focus on other things. Mariah then went on to say alopecia is patches, smooth patched, where the hair follicles don't grow. And she then started showing images of examples where viewers can see the type of round patches she's talking about. Mariah then went on to show a picture of Jada's head where she pointed out that there's a line on her forehead which the actress has explained in a previous video to be the result of her condition. Mariah then pointed out this line was most likely caused by cosmetic surgery and not alopecia. Her second argument would then prove that Jada was lying when she pointed out that if Jada had alopecia, she would have circular, bald patches, but she seems to have a lot of hair growth for someone who has alopecia, meaning she forced Will to smack Chris for no reason. Number nine, racial bias reason. As we've all come to learn from the recent videos, it's that Jada Pinkett Smith hates white women with blonde hair, meaning she hates my very existence, especially now that I'm calling out for all of her lies. While Jada went on to explain her revelation back in 2018, she would sit down to discuss why seeing blonde hair on white women just triggers her when she admitted to her own biases by saying, I have to admit I'm guilty to that to a certain degree because I do have my own biases, specifically to blonde women. Blonde hair on white women just triggers me. I've had to catch myself. When her mother asked her if there was a specific incident that happened with someone who had blonde hair, the actress tried to claim that throughout her childhood she was teased by white women in regards to her hair and how she looked. But we all know she's just lying about why blonde hair women trigger her, as it's clearly just a sneak diss towards Margot Robbie. Hey my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and you know, subscribe to the channel so you never have to miss on what we might just cover next. Coming back to our list at number eight, we have The Entanglement. Just after August, Elsina came out to expose Jada for having an affair with her husband, Will Smith, Jada Pinkett Smith would soon come out to deny the singer August Alsina's claims that they were in a long-term relationship for years while she was still married to Will. After August spoke publicly about being involved with Jada Pinkett Smith, reps would soon come out with a statement calling the claims absolutely not true. Shortly later, Jada would then head over to her social media accounts to state that there was a lot of pain that needed to be discussed and that she would be taking herself to her famous Facebook watch series, The Red Table Talk. During the conversation, we would learn that the entanglement was in fact true, despite what her representatives led the public to believe in the beginning when Jada admitted to the affair. And when it finally came out, it obviously was all lies as she also claimed Will never gave the pair his blessing. However, August Alsina has nothing to lose when it comes to his affair, so why would he lie about the issue? Number seven, forced to marry Will. Jada Pinkett Smith once said that she cried on her horrible wedding day during an episode on her infamous Facebook Red Table Watch series. In the episode, the actress would admit that she's never really agreed to the construct of marriage and that she never wanted to be married. With Jada saying, I didn't want to get married and now Gammy's gonna run to Will crying about I don't want to have a wedding. Now I'm being forced to have a wedding when I really just wanted it to be the two of us on a mountain because this is serious business. It would cause Jada's mother to apologize for not respecting her wishes. Later in an episode, Jada then went on to say I was so upset that I had to have a wedding. I went crying down the freaking aisle. I cried the whole way. Meanwhile, Will would go on to say he wanted a family since he was at the age of five and he wanted to get married and have this perfect family and he was really excited on the wedding day. However, when you're a grown adult, you have the power to make your own decisions. No one really forces you to get married. Also, if you look at photos on the couple's wedding day, not only was she glowing, but she was also seen with the biggest smile we have ever seen her have on her face. Number six, relationship with Tupac. For years now, Jada has been lying to the public about how serious her relationship was with Tupac. And honestly, it's gone a little too far as she keeps running her mouth with imaginary stories of the late rapper that make no sense. And it's gotten to the point she's even made her children believe that she would be happier if Tupac was still alive, as Willow even once wrote to the late rapper when she was 11 years old, claiming so. With Jada and Tupac's relationship dating all the way back to the 80s when the two attended the same college, Jada has constantly stated that her relationship with Tupac has been strictly platonic, but then she 
she tends to make her presence known whenever he starts to trend again online, which suggests that Tupac was more than just a friend. Especially since after Tupac passed away, his friends would come out to say how much Jada destroyed him when she left him for Will. And since a lot of Tupac's friends have been disgusted by the way she uses his name to draw attention to herself. Number 5. Helped August With Jada admitting that she had an affair with August Alsina, she would then go on to note that August was troubled during their relationship and that she was helping him deal with a lot of things. When the actress sat down with the post, she would say, You can look at August and see that there's a certain amount of pain that he is feeling. And you can hear the words that he's trying to speak his truth while he's still protecting the Smith family in the process. With Jada previously saying that she was mentoring him throughout their relationship, it really has us all wondering what kind of mentoring she was giving him. As in the end of their relationship, he was left feeling like he gave his all to their relationship and he was only left feeling devastated and hurt. It's clear Jada never helped August and all she really wanted to do was destroy him. During their relationship, August was already dealing with abandonment issues as he was abandoned by his parents and he was hustling just to make ends meet. He was also struggling with an autoimmune condition that caused him to be hospitalized on multiple occasions. And one time he even ended up in coma for three days. Jada never helped him and she took advantage of his situation so she never had to feel lonely. And she just used August until she could convince Will that he couldn't stay away from her. Number 4. Loving Will Lately it's been pretty clear that Jada Pinkett Smith has never loved Will Smith. Now I get it. You're all probably wondering to yourselves how I may have came to this conclusion. Well just let me explain. I came to this conclusion because she's had an entanglement. And then she went on to put all of her business out on the table while diving into everyone else's business in the process during multiple episodes on her infamous Facebook watch series The Red Table Talk. But think about it, if Jada seriously loved Will, like truly loved him, she would have never let him run up on the stage and smack Chris. She would have never laughed about the overall situation and honestly, Will would be happy but instead they both look miserable with each other. So it shows that when she says she loves Will, she's truly lying to Will and herself. Number 3. Discipline Kids Will and Jada have been very vocal about their decision not to punish their kids, as Jada strongly believes that their kids should have to suffer their own consequences and figure out how to dig themselves out of their own holes. However, this definitely isn't the case as they have been exposed for punishing their kids on multiple occasions. The first incident is when Will and his ex-wife had to call Jada out for punishing Will's first son, Trey, to the point Will even had to put the actress in her place and pretty much told her that she couldn't punish a kid that wasn't hers no matter how he acted. The second being when police and social services started to investigate Will and Jada after photos of Willow started to go viral online and it was stated that Willow was looking a little malnourished. And the third incident would be the fact that Jada also forced her kids to attend the new leadership academy which happens to be a school she helped open in one of her homes for the Church of Scientology. And the school strictly had the entire curriculum based off of Scientology teachings. And if you force your kids to study a cult based Based curriculum. That's just another form of punishment to the point it's not really surprising to why their children feel abandoned and had thoughts about leaving home when they were still teenagers. Number 2. Not being a Scientologist For years Jada Pinkett Smith has been lying about how involved she is with Scientology, with former Scientology members confirming that not only was Jada involved in the controversial religion, they've also pointed out she was actually a recruiter for the organization. While the star has been known to visit the Scientology Center from time to time, Time, she's even tried to claim that she was just at the church out of curiosity and wanted to learn what she wanted to learn. She didn't think of herself as being a Scientologist. However, with the actress helping the church open the new leadership academy in her own home, it would later be revealed by teachers and parents who pulled their kids out of the school that the school's curriculum followed the teachings of Scientologists. And if the actor wasn't a Scientologist, then why did she force her husband not only to open the school with her, but allow the church to open the academy in one of their homes and put her own children in it? It adds up. Number 1. Chris Rock Just after Chris Rock released his brutal Netflix selective outrage special, Jada Pinkett Smith would try to take aim at the comedian by saying he was obsessed with her. However, we all know this just isn't the truth because who's obsessed with Jada Pinkett Smith? As she would have a close source come out to point out that she had nothing to do with the drama between Chris and her husband, and the only part she ever had in this mess was the fact that Chris heckled her. The source then went on to try to claim that Chris was so obsessed with her for almost 30 years by pointing out when he filmed the special it was in her hometown and then he claimed how she should have been made fun of as she started this. 
as he argues she should have quit the Oscars. I mean, Chris is hurt, but I don't think he's ever been obsessed with Jada. As compared to some of the other celebrities he's heckled, he says her name way less. It just seems like Jada's trying to use anyone at this point to help her play victim, and that's exactly what she's doing in this situation. Coming in at number 10, Jaden's real father. Jaden's birthday may not actually be his exact birthday, and with many of you speculating in the last video, he may not actually be Will Smith's child. Okay, so hear me out. It's been said that Jaden Smith was born on July 8, 1998, but what if I told you the actor was born in 1997? Now you're probably wondering who Jaden's father is about now, and if you haven't been able to do the math, just figure out that Tupac actually might be Jaden Smith's real father. Let me explain the math to you. So we all know Tupac passed away September 13th, 1996, and before he passed away, we know he was completely in love with Jada, and that Will was so jealous of their close bond. However, on top of Will's jealousy, something just doesn't add up when it comes to Jaden's birthday. With Jaden being born in July 8th, and Tupac's passing being in September of 1996, just 10 months beforehand, it suggests that the Smith family covered up Jada's pregnancy for over a year before announcing she was pregnant, and then when the star actually finally gave birth, she kept Jaden's day a secret, so people wouldn't speculate that he was really Tupac's son. And she could keep this perfect family image, and if you don't believe me, just look at Tupac's photos and Jaden's photos, they look alike. Number 9, the bald head. So from the last video, a lot of you have been questioning to why Jada would shave her head if she didn't have alopecia. So after diving deep through all of your comments, I saw one of you mention that you knew Jada was lying for a while now as she once told all of her followers that the reason she went bald in the first place is because her daughter asked her to go bald and she agreed. After then diving into the internet to see if the comment was true, I was shocked to find out this comment was 100% true as Jada only started whining about her alopecia condition after the 2022 Oscars. And this is when she retracted her previous statement and tried to explain to the world that Willow made her shave her head because it was time to let go of her balding head. Hey, my little peaches, are you liking this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you never have to miss out on what we might just cover next. Coming in at number 8, we have the plastic surgery. With the scars on Jada's head not being caused by alopecia, like she once told many of her fans and followers, it makes you wonder what the scar could have been caused by. Well, with many theories circulating on TikTok, among the footage made would also be a video made by a hair surgeon named Dr. Gary Linkov, in which he discussed Jada's alopecia. With the video now receiving over 1.2 million views in one snippet, Gary would address the scar that is on top of her head that she has pointed out on social media numerous times. While Gary went on to note that there isn't a single hair loss condition that he knows that could even cause such a linear scar, marking of the hair loss she has, he would go on to note that he strongly believes that Jada may have had a brow lift done, as the purpose of this traditional brow lift procedure she has had done is to remove any sagging skin from the brow by pulling back towards the top of your head. And this is where her scar is resting in the typical incision that is done by this procedure. And it isn't really far fetched in the slightest way to believe that she did in fact have this brow lift done. And the fact that we can still see the hair particles on her head to where the scar exists shows that she might just be trying to cover up her plastic surgery procedure. Number 7, the Oscar slap. With the infamous Oscar slap being what's been talked about for over a year now makes us wonder if this incident is ever going to fade away. Probably not. With footage emerging from the Oscars online, it would show Jada Pinkett Smith had a really odd reaction to her husband Will Smith smacking Chris Rock on stage at the Oscars, which suggests that she forced her husband to make a stand for her. When Chris made a joke about Jada playing G.I. Jane because of her bald head, Chris was reportedly unaware of the actress being diagnosed with alopecia. So while we went on to laugh at Chris' joke in the beginning after he saw his wife roll his eyes, things quickly took a sharp turn for the worse. With the event being telecast live, the moment was so intense it didn't show Jada's initial reaction to the slap or any of the interactions between her and Will beforehand. But now, videos have surfaced online and in them, Jada can be seen laughing after Will took to the stage to slap Chris before going on to act 
just as confused as the rest of the audience, which proves Jada is shady and manipulative. Number six, hated her surprise party. Will and Jada's relationship has been the talk of the town since 2015, since August Alsina went public. In July of 2022, a video would surface on the internet and Jada would come under fire for her reaction to a surprise party Will threw for the star. After Will took three years to plan her 40th birthday party on her show, Jada would mention that her 40th birthday party made her hit this midlife crisis. Will then took his time to make sure the whole day went perfect by hiring a team to orchestrate her 40th birthday party and he even had a documentary team trace down Jada's family roots, including some very exclusive tapes that Jada's grandmother recorded for her before she passed away. Will wanted the day to be so perfect to show Jada that he had all this love for her, but to Will's surprise, Jada acted like she didn't even like the party at all, and she even went on to crush the star for it. Any girl would have swooned over the idea that their husband took this much time to plan something like this, because the sad reality is today, no one does something as sweet as this anymore, and girls have resorted into buying themselves flowers because men won't do it for us. So when Jada said she didn't like it, she was really just mad at the fact that she's never loved Will, and he knows Bad, but he still tries to shower her with love, so maybe she will love him back one day. Also, let's face it, if she didn't like the day, she wouldn't still be talking about it. She just wanted to embarrass her husband for treating her like a queen because she'll never stop treating him like he's a peasant. Five, not being pregnant. So many actors have admitted to lying to get a gig, and Jada happens to be one of these people. As she once revealed when she was off of the role of Niobe in The Matrix Reloaded, she was pregnant and kind of lied so she could secure the the job. After the actor explained why she lost out on the role of Trinity in the original film as it came down to chemistry and she just had none when it came to acting with Keanu Reeves, she went on to explain that the Matrix directors were so impressed with Pinkett Smith that they created a role for her. But the role was actually supposed to go to Alaya in the beginning, not Jada. Though the role was later given to Jada, she would have lost out on part of it if she had been 100% truthful. As the actor was pregnant with her daughter Willow, at the time filming was required. And her being due in November, there was a small problem. Her daughter was due the same month, the film was supposed to start filming, so she lied saying her baby was coming in October so she would be ready by the end of November. Luckily Willow came at the end of October, or things could have been a real mess for the production team. Number 4 hates blonde women. So if you watch the Red Table Talk show, then you know Jada once admitted that she hates white women, especially if they have blonde hair. However, you know what's strange about her claim? It's that the actress also dons blonde hair from time to time. With Jada claiming that she only hates blonde white women because they bullied her in high school, it made us all look back to think about how many blonde girls we actually went to high school with. There's not that many, okay? Maybe like three to four in your whole class, let alone your whole school, depending where you are. Moving on, if blonde hair really triggered her, then why has she gone on to don the same look? Because if she truly had this trauma when it came to blonde hair, we probably wouldn't see her donning these looks. Not to say that she hasn't been bullied, but I strongly believe that everyone has been bullied at some point in their life, but she just definitely doesn't have a bias towards blonde women, and it's clear if she does, she likes to become the people she hates. Number three, being a good parent. For years, Jada has been trying to convince the public that she nailed the whole parenting thing, and that the way she approaches things as a mother is how every mother should be approaching their child. However, when Jada brought her children, Jaden and Willow, on the Red Table Talk, they would open up about how hard it was for them to have Jada and Will as parents, and how they found it difficult to grow up in a famous family. To the point her kids felt like there was seriously not enough support when it came to their artistic careers. And they wished that their family could have noticed they were struggling and gave them support. Instead of admitting to the problem, Jada then went on to blame the whole thing on Will Smith for noting that they had different parenting skills due to the fact that they grew up with different backgrounds. But how you grow up shouldn't affect the way you parent your children as we all have control over our own actions and people can't affect that. Number two, <laughs> loves her family. I strongly believe that Jada has never really truly loved her family because let's face it, the only one Jada can ever love truly 
is herself. Have you ever noticed when Jada's family brings up their problems, she can't just wait to bring them onto her infamous Facebook watch series? So she can discuss all the details about the problems within it, and it makes it look like she isn't the problem in many of these issues. It just seems like Jada knows her career isn't going anywhere, and in the process of her realization, she knows she has to rely on her famous family and their personal issues to make her famous. As not only has Jada exposed her family, but in the process, she has lied manipulated and belittled her family to show that she has no shame in her actions and if she really was a loving wife, daughter, mother and friend, she wouldn't be hurting her loved ones and exposing them the way she is. And coming in at number one today, we have her relationship with Tupac. Okay, so you all know how Jada has been like preaching about her relationship with Tupac and how it's always been strictly platonic? Well, it seems like this may not be the case as Jaden Smith has once even stated that the late rapper even once proposed to his mother in an interview and it goes on to prove that her relationship with Pac was definitely more than just platonic. In the past, Jada has spoken about how she had a really close relationship with Tupac on numerous occasions and that the two met when attending the Baltimore School for the Arts together in the 1980s. With Jaden admitting that Jada and Pac were best friends, it would then prompt Big Boy to make a joke saying, well, they say marry your best friend, but I'm glad they didn't. A sentiment Jaden first agreed with while laughing, however in another interview he then would go on to whine about how he wished his dad was Tupac, but lucky for him, his dad actually might be Tupac.